is this is just a wooden circle. Nice and wide enough so the bobblehead itself doesn't, you know, fall over or anything. This is my armature. And this is a two-part epoxy self-hardening. So I can create the pin on the top and just a surface, hard surface to sculpt onto and it won't fall off the base. So now this is, this is pretty permanent. They requested a cool guy with a leather jacket and a microphone. So you just pretty much start like this. Take your Sculpey and you just start pressing it down. You want to press it in pretty firm to prevent air bubbles in there. So I'm continuing the build to get the basic shape. Ready to add some arms. I'm gonna make his left arm with his hands in his pockets. So just smush some clay and roll it out. His right arm is gonna be holding the microphone. And we're gonna sculpt and um, bake up that microphone separate and then stick it to him while we're still sculpting. Make sure the arms are roughly the same size. Because it's a leather jacket, he's going to have big shoulders and a big collar. Kind of modeling it after 50s style. So now we're gonna make ourselves a little microphone that yeah, he's gonna be holding. You really just look online and you find a microphone and then you copy it. But we have some clay that's rolled thin and flat. Dot the head of the microphone all the way around and try not to overlap the dots.
Now we want another thin strip. Let's go around the head. Flatten it out a little more, make it thinner. Ta da! I'm gonna bake this up in my toaster oven. I'm gonna bake it at 250 for 15 minutes. It needs to be 250 for 30 minutes. We'll just to do 15. It'll make it hard enough so we can attach it to the sculpt, but it won't get messed up while you're sculpting around it. I think my microphone's gonna go about here. Pretty good. I actually have to still take the collar down a little bit. This will be the fingers wrapping around. some more detail while you were gone. Some detail to the leather jacket and jeans. Just kind of adding pockets. So we just did them light. Just in case we do them the wrong size, we can fix that. And so what we want to do now is add some detail to the hands, some fingers, which is easy enough. Doing something that's rounded like a finger, what you want to do is smooth it out horizontally, not vertically. And that'll give you the rounded look of a finger. So I'm going to keep finessing and be right back. So I want to add some more knuckles to this hand. So I'm just going to take a little piece of clay, squish it down the sides. So now what I want to do is add some more detail to his shoes. I'm going to add a sole. So we're going to get a thin strip of clay. It's a nice straight line. Okay, so this is what we want to use. And I am actually going to thin this out a little more. Stretch it. I don't want to stretch too much. Shove it in there.
kind of want to smooth it out and make sure there's no gap on the bottom. It meets the base nicely and that it is secure against the shoe. Get some a little bit extra, so we're just gonna keep pushing it towards the back. That's a pretty good sole. a little bit to the foot in the back here, to the upper heel. Simple shoe, we'll just add a little bit of detail so where the lace up area would be. Okay, we're gonna put in a quick seam down the side of his jeans, really lightly. It doesn't have to be straight down because you want to kind of get wrinkly on the bottom where it um, starts, the bottom of his pants start to wrinkle up. Right, now what we want to do is we want it to say boss on the back. The old FS. So you're looking at the midline, so you're going to have one S here. So it's a nice pointy tool. It's really super lightly going in there and drawing it out. That's why we do it really lightly because you're bound to mess up. You mess up and smooth it right out. To make stuff nice and smooth, I use a, poly, a liquid polymer clay mixed with a um, polymer clay softener, and that helps smooth it out and at the same time fill. See it, but it says boss. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time oops, finessing. Okay, so it says boss in the back now. Uh, now we just we want to add a couple little like studs to the jacket. Kind of like a snap or a little button or something. So these small little balls of clay. Sculpey clay softener for our hair. And we just want to dab it around. The liquid sculpey acts also as a glue. And when it's once it's it's a adhesive when it's baked up to the same temperature as the clay. So that keeps these little guys from falling off. You can also fill in spots with it. See how that goes in pretty deep. You want to wipe it in, you can leave it kind of blobbed in there. It'll fill in that space nice, uh, make molding a lot easier. We also want to add some detail, some details to the collar. Our little studs, and now my fingers are greasy. So 
another way to do this. So roll out a thin little worm. And then you just cut tiny sections off. You can apply it. That's a much better, easier idea. You also want to make a little tag right here to represent the zipper. And that we want you to do too to make painting easier and just give it a little line right here. See now this can be painted in. So there you have it, it's a uh, guy with a leather jacket, the boss.